there she goes. Lens 2 helical XL from Thingiverse. Don't know, the, don't know the number off my head. There's a decent wind. It spins nicely. I made the, the mast stand myself. And this time it doesn't topple over, so that's a, I call that a success. <laughs> also I have some meters. The generator assembly. Let's go stand in front of it by the angle. So we have a NEMA 17 motor. We have a T5 pulleys, a closed T5 belt, 330 teeth. Uh, yeah, that's professional with a tie wrap. We have a, a two rectifiers. So each coil of the stepper motor is connected to one rectifier and those are then soldered together with the plus and the minus. But you have actually have, you can see it here, four uh, AC wires from the stepper motor. And we'll go to the measuring department for what it's worth. Here you can see uh, the voltage voltage from the stepper motor. You can see here it's 9.7, 9.8 and it's actually producing something because it's going into this and you can't read that for shit. Yeah, let me look, have a look. So it reads 7.57 and 0 0.07, 0 0.01 amps, 0 0.0, there we go, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, you can hear the whine from the turbine, 0.16. It all depends on the wind, of course. And then we also have this one, which you can probably read. It's an RPM counter. Yeah, there we go. You can see a little. 54, 57, 50 RPM. So we're actually getting some current from 50 RPM. Which is reasonable but somewhere from around 100 to over 150 is where it really starts to do something. Um, this stepper motor probably isn't the right choice. I might even need something like a, a NEMA 23 instead of a NEMA 17. Do note these stepper motors are rated for 12 volt operation which means you get a decent voltage um, from a very little RPM. That's one of the reasons I chose stepper motors, because they produce reasonable uh, voltages for the system with just uh, a little bit of RPM. And because I use a, a DC, DC buck converter, I'm actually decoupling the power from this uh, 2S LiPo. So the input voltage and the output voltage are then regulated. This DC-DC converter is, uh, actually has uh, a constant current mode as well, uh, which I haven't triggered yet and I don't actually have the screwdrive with me to adjust it, but it doesn't matter anyhow because the current isn't high enough. But it's nice to see that the input voltage and the output voltage are not directly coupled. Uh, of course the input voltage will not go up as high because it's actually coupled to the battery now. If I decouple the battery you will actually see it go up uh, towards something like uh, 30 plus volts. Um, ah yes you can see now. You see the little blue LED? It's actually current limiting. I should probably adjust that. So that's the next test. There we go.